Hi everyone, my name is Uche Uba and this is the Style Corner series. I'm still your in-store stylist for Andrea Yama. With um, our Zaidi robe, which I have here, and every other robe that we have in Andrea Yama, we kind of have a, you know, very creative way of styling our robes. And then we keep on getting questions like, oh my God, how is this styled? So today I'm going to take the liberty to sh of showing everyone how to style the Zaidi robe and any other AI robe that you may possibly own. So this is the first style I'm going to go with, just like a simple, um, I'm styling it first as a robe, which it is. I just feel like sometimes we want to, you know, go somewhere and we're not really looking to dress too much or one of those days when you just roll out of um, bed for like a quick brunch with the girls or with whoever and you just need to wear something, you know, really quick and you're not looking to be stressed as well. So this is the first way I like to style this robe. Looks very much like a dress and it's very easy as well. When I do this, I just like to pleat this a little bit so it just has that little pleat detail here. But this is it. So now for the creative way that we style this daily robe that people keep asking about, there's really nothing much to it. And I feel like I'm going to be sharing one of AI's best kept secrets that we've actually tried to educate people on a couple of times um, but now so what I do is I just take one end of this not like the very end but somewhere towards the hem of the robe and I put it in one of the loops or I make a loop with the belt and then have it in here. So when I'm doing this, I'm always cautious to make sure this is facing inwards so we don't have something like this. So. There are like a variety of ways you can have this in place, sometimes with pins, um, but I'm just going to do like a quick one here. So this is what you have. This is how it looks. The Zadie robe with the drape detail i think it's very simple it's just basically lifting there and then having it tucked somewhere and having it fastened if you're not really confident about the belt or how to put it you know with the belt and you don't want it to be bulky you could just have it with a pin there but i think mine is fine okay so let's have you walk a bit So this is your Zadie robe with the drape detail. Quickly, we're just going to, you know, come back with um, the robe one backwards. So we see how to style that as well. So I have the Zadie robe one backwards now, and we're just going to do a quick styling video on how to finish this look. So I make it quick knots at the back to hold everything in place. For extra detail, you could just have like a little pleat detail here. Also makes it fit better by the side as well. And it looks more like a dress. So for the back, obviously you have this problem of it opening here, but there's a quick way to solve that. And that's by folding this inside, because I think the Zadi robe, the front, um, the front part of the Zadi robe is cut into a V, so you can actually, um, overlap quite well so this is what you have at the back and this is what you have in front and if you also want to do that drape detail that we did before so i just pick up from the knee and then go up this way and also have it tucked into the belt and fold it again so here you have the zadie robe one backwards with the drape detail so let's have you so this works perfectly and it's also not opening so you don't have to be afraid of it you know 
opening in public. I think if you have it tucked and overlapped properly, that solves that problem. You could also ha have it held in place better with a pin if that works for you or if that makes you feel more comfortable and secure. So this is it for the Zadie rule. Thank you very much.